Hill has caught up with two of them. So we've seen perhaps one team taking the lead slightly surprisingly in the FA Cup this weekend, but it's not the first time. Charlie Oatway, you did your own bit this weekend at Anfield. Uh, you're living the dream this weekend, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, the boys have enjoyed themselves and, um, you know, they give it their best shot and, you know, we took the lead and, and we took it twice, really, and um, we deserve to go in at 2-2 uh, two -two at least. Um, the boys done really well in that sense and they listened to what we said and, um, you know, unfortunately for us, the, the, uh, the quality showed in the second half. 24 hours on in the cold light of day, are you still uh, enjoying it? Are you able to put it into some kind of perspective what you did yesterday? Yeah, I mean, we put it in perspective. Um, we are still enjoying it because we're here, you know. Um, Man United was uh, good enough to give us, like, 20-odd tickets and the boys are going to, you know, thoroughly enjoy it at the moment. And uh, we walked into the, the bar and they were clapping us and things like that. So the boys are enjoying that side of it. But, no, it's, it's the cold light of the day, really. And um, the boys, we've got a load of league games now. So uh, hopefully we can creep up the league and, and start achieving things because we've got a good enough squad to do that. You can tell he's from management, he's already talking about the league games. Uh, you must be loving this weekend, like no other, I would imagine. Oh, it's been an unbelievable weekend. We trained at uh, Manchester training ground on Friday, you play at Anfield on Saturday, and then you come to watch Man United at Tottenham. You can't get a much better weekend. What about the game you've seen so far? I mean, what have you made of it today? Um, yeah, it's been quite a good game, obviously. It's nice to uh, come to a ground like this and see such great players. Unfortunately, we both missed the uh, Man United goal. We're walking down to meet you, but Sorry uh, about that. that's fine. But it's been, a, no, it's been an enjoyable <coughs> game so far. And I'm afraid it has to come to an end. Your, your assistant manager said there's league games to think about, and it's back to the day jobs. What are you going to be doing tomorrow? Um, I'm going to be going back into my school doing um, coaching. Um, and the rest of the guys? Yeah, we've got plumbers, builders, anything you want done in your house, I think you can have done. <laughs> so uh, if you need any uh, work done, I'm sure you can give us a call and it could get sorted. I'm sure you won't be short of phone calls. You've made us all enjoy the FA Cup again this weekend. Well done, boys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Cheers. Yeah, great stuff. We all enjoyed that. Well, except for one Alan Hansen. <laughs> it was trembling in his boots. It was really remarkable. Yeah. Because, and there's certain things that happen in your life or your career that you'll remember forever. And for the Havent boys, just as you go to Anfield, as I said, scored twice in front of the cop. And, and not only that, but they had a lot of chances as well. And they played unbelievably well. Yeah, I think they just went with no fear. They went there with the intention of enjoying themselves, and they certainly did that. I mean, to, to score go two goals oh. and be in the lead twice is fantastic for them. Great story. Almost held that lead to half time. That would have been something. Uh, I mean, it was always going to happen in the second half, wasn't it? Unfortunately for the uh, for the romantics of the the competition, but they've had a great weekend, as the as the boys said there. They've missed Man United's goal thanks to the interview, mm -hmm. so they'll all go home happy anyway, won't yeah. they? Has anyone ever said that that's what the FA Cup's all about? <laughs> <laughs>